Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting Minecraft tutorial. I am Tyken, and today I'll be showing you how to install the Ether, which is just an awesome mod. If you haven't heard about it, it basically adds the Ether, which is the opposite of the Nether, to the game. It adds tons of new features and great things. I definitely suggest checking it out. Uh, the link will be in the description below, so go ahead and check that out. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to install it. First of all, you're going to have to go to their page, which again, I'll be linking below. Uh, first, you have to install their mod, which I already did, and each each of these individual mods that actually load the mod and help it work. They are mandatory and you do need them, but once you download them, which again is easy, um, you put them in a separate folder, which I already took the liberty of doing and naming it the Ether. So now we have all four of the mods that we need to install. Uh, first of all, you're going to want to install these three. You could probably install all four at the same time, but I like to do the uh, the mandatory ones first, just in case. Anyway, you're going to want to extract it, which you need some kind of uh, zip program to do, whether it's uh, WinZip, WinRAR, or 7-Zip, your choice, unless you're on a Mac. But anyway, let's go ahead and extract all here. You'll get a couple of folders. You can go ahead and delete the ones you've already highlighted, so just go ahead and get rid of those. Uh, you can also get rid of the README, because again, you don't really need that, and the uh, src folder that's the source folder if you want to you know change anything and again we don't need that anyway go ahead and take all these class files just drop them into this bin folder since they're all going in the same place anyway now you're going to want to open up your minecraft folder which i conveniently made one here a shortcut anyway but many of you don't know how to get to it that easily so let's go ahead and show you just open up minecraft go to options and the second option should be game disk on location so just go ahead and click that and your folder should pop up that simple and easy then you just go ahead and close that out because you don't want minecraft running when you do this which also is a very important tip don't have minecraft running when you mod or change anything and also back up pretty much your entire folder before you do any of this that way if something screws up you at least have a backup nothing will likely screw up but at the same time it's always good to take precaution anyway let's go ahead and open up the bin you have your minecraft one right here should be pretty much close to the bottom uh... open it or double click on it depending on uh, whatever you don't want to extract it stupid pop-up uh... anyway what we're going to do now is open up this bin thing and select all just control a and you should select all and just drag it right into your folder that quick and easy then we're going to want not that one go back and take these two folders and drag them in as well an important thing when installing this mod uh, also is if you're using the texture patcher make sure you use it first or this won't work exactly uh, second of all if you don't use the texture patcher or anything you're going to likely have a meta inf folder you're going to definitely want to delete this it's not important all it does is stops mods from working i don't know why but it does anyway now that we've got that done and through all those folders in there where they need it to go. Uh, let's go ahead and delete these. Now we're going to extract the ether. Go ahead and bring that up and you should get two folders, the jar and the resources. You can open the jar, again select everything and simply drag it back into here and you're done. You're done with that anyway. Uh, you can go ahead and delete the jar folder, you don't need it anymore. Next you want to come here which is uh, the main root folder, the one where you find your Minecraft thing, and you'll see a resource folder. Just uh, drag this one onto here. Ooh, I dragged it onto screenshots, my mistake. Um, and it should ask you if you want to rewrite the folder, and yes. All it will do is just replace the folder with its folder and add all the necessary things to it. And then once you're done with that, you're good. The ether is installed. That simple, that easy, great mod that will give you hours, if not weeks, of entertainment, depending on how much you want to do with it. Anyway, that's it for this tutorial. I hope it helped you all, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.